Welcome to Grill and Smoke Barbecue. I'm Jeffrey. You know, I was in the mood for a brisket, so that's what I'm going to do today. It's not going to be a big one. It's going to be like a six or seven pounder. That way, the great part won't take as long to cook. And also, there's a rub that I really wanted to try, and now that I have it, what better meat to put it on than the brisket, right? I'll show you what that rub is in just a minute. Let's do this. Alright, as you can see, like I said, it's a small brisket. I already did a lot of the trimming off of it. Um, as you can see, when they cut it, they put this little indention here. But, hey, not going to worry about it. It's just some backyard cue that I want for myself. And what I'm going to use from a binder is this Worcestershire sauce, or dove sauce as I call it. But if you notice, I'm using the redu reduced sodium. Got to watch out for that salt in the And as I said for the rub, I'm going to be trying this Suckle Busters 1836. I got this rub from Dustin over at Tennessee Grilling and Smoking. Uh, he had a giveaway which included this rub, some plucker dust, and hog waller. And I really wanted to try that 1836. So thank you, Dustin. You the man. Now, Let's get this binder on here. And I'm not injecting today, basically because I don't feel like making an injection and doing it. So, it's just gonna be a straight out cook. And I can tell this is like heavy on the pepper. It has a Real strong pepper smell. Mess with your nose if you're not careful. And I'm gonna go a little heavy because this is a big piece of meat. So we can take it. So get the side. So I can see right now this has actually got point and the flat on it. So might separate it after it's cooked. I might just leave it whole. Well, it's just so small. I'm just gonna leave it whole. And just to save y'all some time, all I'm gonna do is flip this over, put rub on the back. Really no need for y'all to have to watch me do that. So next time you see me, I'll be getting ready to put this on the smoker. See ya. Alright, so I got the smoker at 250. And the heat source is at the bottom, so I'm going to place it fat side down. And I'm going to get a probe in it so I can keep up with the temp. I'm using some pit boss uh, mesquite pellets. Put it cooked. And we'll check back on. I'll give it an hour. We'll check and see if I need to spritz it. Alright, it's been on here for an hour. Go take a look at it. Alright, it's looking good. The rub is almost. 
completely on there, set on there, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little spritz with some apple juice and apple cider vinegar. Just to make sure it don't dry out. Let it roll. Check on it again in another hour. Alright, so we're another hour in. We're gonna and turn the tempers around 130. And that's how we're looking. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz it with some more of the apple juice and apple cider vinegar. Just to make sure it doesn't dry out. Check back on it in another hour. Alright, it's been another hour. Take a look at it. Okay, looking really good now. The internal temp is about 161. I'm just going to still need to get that bark to sit a little more. I'm going to let it ride. And then probably when it gets around 165, 66, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it. I'll bring y'all back for that. Alright, so took it out at 166. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap it in this foil. And when you wrap it, you want to make sure you get it tight. Putting your holes in it. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a cup of beef broth and I'm gonna pour it in here. This also helps to create some au jus for later. And I did double wrap this. Try to make sure I don't have any leakage. And go back on the smoker. And what I'm going to do is turn the smoke up to 300 and let it finish out so I get an internal temp of 203. And then I'm going to probe it for tenderness. All right, so let me just recap what just happened. So add about a six pound brisket, season up, did a Worcestershire, Worcestershire or Dove sauce for the, um, base for it and covered it with the Suckle Busters 1836. Threw it on a smoker, uh, 250 degrees. Took about three hours for it to reach around 166 internal temp. Took it off, oh, also spritzed it each hour with some apple juice and apple cider vinegar mix. Took it off at uh, 166 internal, wrapped it in some foil, put a cup of beef broth in there, threw it back on the smoker, raised the temp to 300. After that, I was shooting for an internal 203, but I got it to 205 before it reached the tenderness I wanted on it. After that, took it off the smoker. Uh, Unwrapped it a little to let it to burp it so we can get some of that steam out to try to preserve the bark on it. Covered it back up, threw it in a cooler for two hours. Now, here we are. 
I'm about to slice it, taste it. Hopefully it came out good. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we go. Has a nice little jiggle to it. That's always a good sign. Um, bad thing is, I forgot to mark it so I can see the direction that the grain is going so I can cut against it. So it's going to be a guessing game now. Pretty much, I'll probably just go and just cut it straight and just see what happens. Got a nice little smoke ring on it. Not bad. Gonna try to keep it about pencil length, pencil width thickness. A lot of juice in it. Take a look. So, yep. You see, got a nice bend to it. Still smoking because it's so hot. So, let's just see. Pulls apart, pulls apart nicely. But now to the best part, let's give this 1836 a taste. Okay, so here we go, taste it. A lot of pepper to it, but on beef, that's a good thing. I like that. That was a part of the flat. Mm. You can get a piece of the fat, the fatty, see how that tastes. Here we go with the fatty. Mm. Mm. Most tender part of the brisket, the juiciest flavor is just, it's good. Sucker Busters 1836 is good. I will give it that. So, that being said, if you're already a subscriber to the channel, Thank you for coming back. Good to see you again. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please feel free to click that subscribe button, ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new material. Also, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, same thing, Grill and Smoke Barbecue. Can't miss me. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.